Supernova Style Science News with Jelly Seven Sage. Colonizing Mars is a dream of so many people across the Earth. One thing we need to think about is what we are going to use to build the buildings. Yu Chao, professor of structural engineering at UC San Diego, has come up with a great idea. Mars bricks. You're probably thinking, how could Mars bricks be a supernova-style brain bomb? Just wait. But first, you need to know how a brick on Earth is made. Bricks on Earth are made in a few different ways. Mud bricks, fired bricks, chemically set bricks, and compressed earth blocks. For all four types, you make a mold and put your material, like clay, into the mold, and some also have a binding material, like straw in the mud bricks. Then they are dried in a variety of ways, like firing them in a kiln or air drying. The air dried ones are weaker. After you have the bricks, to build the building you need mortar, like cement, that will stick and hold the bricks together. But these Mars bricks are much different than any other brick on Earth, or bricks that have been specifically designed for Mars. The bricks are made out of a simulant of Martian soil, JSC Mars 1A, which is a soil that NASA and other people use as a common simulant for Martian soil, but is mostly silica dioxide, or quartz, and iron oxide, what most people refer to as rust. Also, a few other minerals mixed in. To create the bricks, all you need to do is compress the soil with a moderate weight inside a flexible container, like a rubber tube. That's it. You don't need to bake it or add anything else to make it. Then to build a building, you don't even need mortar. All you have to do is compress the bricks and they will stick together. The researchers believe that this is happening because the iron in the soil is acting as a binding agent. The reason that they are strongly bonded is that iron particles that coat the rocky basalt particles have clean, flat facets that easily bind to each other when put under pressure. Think of it as microscopic Legos. Another amazing property of the bricks is that they are much stronger than the bricks we have on Earth. The strength is even comparable to steel and forced concrete. That's amazing! Another interesting fact is that the red bricks you usually see are about 50 to 60 percent silica, while the Mars bricks are about 45 percent silica. They're not that far off. But if you look at the iron oxide percentage, the Mars bricks are more than triple than the red bricks, and the red bricks have to be fired at around 1,300 degrees Celsius to be strong. The only problem is that they have only made very small bricks that are cut out of tiny disks that are one inch tall. So the next step for the researchers is making normal sized bricks and testing it to make sure that it scales up. With this information, we are a step closer to people colonizing Mars and possibly even making better buildings on Earth. Share some science with your friends. Follow us on Twitter at supernova underscore style. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and show your supernova style.